To avoid bloodshed, Wagner's chief directs soldiers to return from Moscow. Through a social media post, Yevgeny Prigozhin declared that his soldiers are turning our columns around to avoid bloodshed. According to reports, Alexander Lukashenko, the president of Belarus, acknowledged that he had begun talks with Prigozhin on Vladimir Putin's behalf and with his approval. The discussions went on all day long. Prigozhin consented to halt his company's progress toward Moscow. At the moment, an absolutely profitable and acceptable option for solving the situation is on the table with security guarantees for the Wagner PMC fighters, a statement from the Belarusian government claimed. The announcement from Prigozhin appears to put an end to what many described as Putin's regime's biggest threat in his 23 years in power. According to the Associated Press, Prigozhin remained silent on the response of Moscow to his desire to remove Sergei Shoigu as defense minister. The Kremlin did not respond right away. When they were more than halfway to Moscow, 30 miles, 50 kilometers beyond Voronezh, a helicopter opened fire on the troop carriers, two flatbed trucks, and each tank. Prigozhin said that he had entered Rostov-on-Don without firing a shot and taken control of the southern military district of Russia's headquarters. For Russia's invasion of Ukraine, the city has acted as the primary logistics center.